This is the accompanying video for the paper Adapting Parameterized Motions Using Iterative Learning and Online Collision Detection. In this paper we work towards techniques for increasing robustness and dependability of industrial robot setups targeted assembly and manufacturing. That is, we work towards making robot motions which are robust and uncertainty tolerant. Furthermore, we want to ensure that if uncertainties and variation cause the system to fail, the resulting error caused the system to fail gracefully, also sometimes known as graceful degradation. This work is based on and tested using a real industrial assembly case where a pipe connection for heating system is created. The clip here shows the assembly process with a mock-up crimping machine, which would normally bend the ends of the tube, ensuring that the union nuts are left in place. The process includes a tight pick and hole operation when inserting the nuts onto the pin. In previous papers we show how simulation can be used to learn a robot motion which is robust to uncertainties. The simulation and resulting motion is shown in this clip. This paper is about continuing this learning in the real world, thereby allowing both positional deviations and uncertainties not included in the simulation process to be optimized and corrected. To do this, errors must cause the robot to fail gracefully such that learning can continue and run automatically. Our work focuses on simple robots without additional sensors and we therefore use the robot motor currents to detect collisions. To detect errors, we first capture a baseline of the motion. This capturing is shown here. We can then detect deviations in the baseline to detect collisions. However, both detection and reaction to collision must be fast if the robot is to be stopped before the collision causes the robot's own safety system to kick in and stop the process. The collision detection system is shown here along with the setup where the system has been disabled causing the robot's own safety system to halt operation. This clip shows the learning process when optimizing the pick and hole operation where the union nuts are inserted onto the pin. This clip shows a successful iteration, the following clip shows a failure. The learning is based on 150 iterations. The remaining part of the video visualizes the learning data and compares our proposed method, UCIB, and the traditional approach, UCB. The left column shows UCB and the right column shows UCIB. The first row shows the mean predicted by Gaussian processes and the second the acquisition function. The green and the red points represent success and failures. The black circle shows the current sample.